The desecration circuit is based on a Les Paul control layout. Volume, tone, volume, tone, three-way toggle switch. And also a series parallel switch. So what do I mean when I say Les Paul build? Like you might be thinking it's all guitar parts put in a bass, and that's not it at all. These are, you know, these are pots for certain types of uh, pickups. So like, you know, 500 goes with, 500K typically goes with humbuckers. 250Ks go with single coils and, and uh, split coils. Les Paul-esque inspired builds are actually from this base. So it is a, you know, it's a, it's a PJ, split coil, jazz bass, volume, volume, tone, tone, and three-way toggle up here. This thing's from like 1981. It's almost as old as I am. But originally I wanted to get all of this in a Fender jazz bass. So that's, this is a, like a Les Paul layout. It's not a Les Paul guitar. It's not configured like a Les Paul guitar. The caps, the tone caps are for bass. The pots are for bass, wired for bass. It's not, <laughs> the wiring is not gonna go up here. It's all gonna be in the, in the control cavity of your Fender Jazz, of course. This is the same as this. And the desecration circuit is the same as this plus series parallel. The, you know, the 60s build is basically this minus the toggle switch. You're just messing with your volume, volume, tone, tone. That's all you've got. If you switch it to the middle position and switch this down, you're in series. So all of these are based roughly off of a 60s Fender build. So you've got, I'm just showing these different uh, knob configurations to show you can mix and match however you want, however you want to order them. But this type of configuration is just purely like neck volume and tone, bridge volume and tone. No selection, you just set it how you want through this. And that's just a standard 60s build with a little bit of my own uh, magic put in it, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. And then the, the next step from that would have the front that looks just like this, which is a, a 60s build with a series parallel switch on it here. Um, and then after that, then it gets into the Gibson Les Paul inspired builds. So the next one is what I call apostasy, um, which again is volume, tone, volume, tone, and a three-way toggle switch like that. And so the next step up from that, I guess if you want to call them steps, is what I call desecration, which is the same thing. It's this, you know, volume, tone, volume, tone, and a three-way toggle switch plus a series parallel switch. Both pickups need to be selected in the middle position. And then when you do that, this is taken out of the circuit. This becomes a master volume, master tone. But back to the desecration circuit, um, it's just just like that. It's just a master tone, or a, a neck volume tone, bridge volume tone, neck pickup, both pickups, bridge pickup, this is parallel, so your normal mode, and then this goes to series. Quick note about series and parallel. So parallel, to be in the up position, is your standard basic wiring that most of your bases come in, where they're connected. Series, or they're connected, well, in parallel, but no details on that. In series, basically these become one pickup, just like a P base. You know, a P base is like, two squares right there. Well, those are actually the end wiring of the first one's going into the start wiring of the second one. That's a, that's a series. Those are, that's wired in series. So when you put it in series, these become like 
a P base. So tonally, what that means for you, or for these two types of wiring configurations is parallel is more highs and then that, I should say less volume, but the standard volume. So your normal like straight out of the factory parallel uh, wired bass guitar, you know, volume, volume, tone, that's in parallel. So you've got all the highs, it's got a complete range and no bumps anywhere and all the volume uh, with that. In series, you're gonna lose some highs and you're gonna gain a low mid bump in, in the overall sound. So you're gonna get it more thump and less, oh, some of your highs will be cut when in series. That's just the nature of the circuit or the, of the wiring. There's nothing you can really do about that. Not that the, not that the highs are completely taken off and you're, you know, only, it's only usable like in a reggae band, not like that, but it's just a slight cut there and a raise in volume in the low mids, which you can only do when this is in the center position. Because otherwise, if you do series and you put that in the bridge, this will actually, you'll be, it's a mute switch. So now going on to talk about these pickups in this bass and how this came about. So I wanted to put, I wanted to have a bass with P90s and I could never find, well, I did find one company and it was their P90s already in a bass. Didn't want that. And so I gave up on the project until a friend of mine pointed out that a company called Stonewall Pickups offers like a Jazzmaster P90 version and then just a straight up uh, bass voiced P90 uh, pickup configuration. Found those, great. Um, dying to try them out. So, source some parts. So this whole base is a parts base. This is like a all parts body. This is a Fender made in Mexico neck. Um, the hardware, the hardware was, you know, off of the Fender side. Uh, let's see, so the neck was there. Back plates from Fender. These knobs are the, or the, uh, Strap locks are the, uh, I forget the name. They're not Dunlop, they're, I'll, I'll put the, the name below. Another Fender, you know, typical uh, stamped bridge. What else, is that it? And then, so I had to find a guy in town who luckily could route out these things. So he had a template that he either made or ordered, I'm not sure, I'll have to ask him about it, but he had to route these out. And then I had him go ahead and drill pilot. No, he drilled the complete holes for here and here, of course here. And and let me let me just warn you, if you're wanting to do a parts build, you're, you're gonna run into trouble. I'll go through the trouble I had with this. Um, the body and the neck were like half a millimeter off. So he had to take this made in Mexico neck fill it, plug, plug the, the holes that were already in it and re-drill it to match this body. They're just slightly off. The body that I bought this uh, originally, it had like Fender Jazz Bass single coils in it. And those were off like by like half a millimeter. So when he rounded these out, he took some of that wood. You can't see it now, but there's a small sliver of, of wood put in here just to make everything even. Uh, this was fine, this was fine, no trouble here. And also he had to go back and, uh, what did he call it, ski slope. It has ski slope problem in the neck. It was bottoming out here, so he had to regrind the frets to even it out. So you will have trouble. Um, the next problem, was getting a paint job on this. The guy that did the routing did not do the paint job. I had another guy who had the body and he was trying to get, so I wanted the exact color of shell pink, which you can't find unless you want to buy one of those uh, flea bases, which are like pre-worn or whatever. So anyway, I had this guy and we searched down the color codes for the DeSoto. I think it was a Sh Chrysler DeSoto, like 57. I'll throw up a picture. 
and it's like that's the color here's the color code anyway he worked on that and this is swamp ash and it was absorbing all the all the colors so this project started in march like march 10th or 12th is when i started ordering everything it is august 4th and i just finished this uh last sunday like yeah i got the pickups <sighs> installed and yeah last yeah last sunday is when the neck when the frets were done so don't expect this to be easy this or don't expect you know to buy these parts and they're just going to fit together i'm just warning you if you're wanting to do um, something like this <laughs> you're going to run into trouble let's talk about the pickups so these p90s and how they sound i'm sure you could probably tell from the example video before but they are uh, much more on the darker side they are not the single coil type sound that you know that fender jazz bass growl these are like right before a p bass sound even back here they're deeper darker punchier uh they're they're mean i've even had people well including myself who thought man those, those things sound like active pickups these are passive there's no there's no battery in this and not that a battery could fit in anything like this so uh, they're warm, they're dark, yeah, they can brighten up, but when you have them full blast, it, it sounds like an active bass, which blows my mind. I don't know how that works. So, if you're interested, uh, the company's called Stonewall, Stonewall Pickups. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description along with uh, reverb links for these as well if you do make one let me know I'd love to see it okay let's go through some some tones on this so it'll probably be a <clears throat> dual uh, demonstration of these pickups and to be honest it's not really fair to do a demonstration of this on these pickups because they're so different than single coils they're really low and punchy but we'll uh, we'll do our best all right, so right now I'm in paramel, paramel, caramel, <laughs> I'm in parallel mode, uh, neck, let's see, volume all the way up, tone all the way up. get something a little bit um, where I like it so I'm gonna go down and just kind of do that so I So that's uh, volume and tone. Let's go to just the bridge all the way up. Roll it 
up just a little bit. tone this one is taken out of the circuit so this does nothing so right now we're at full volume series <laughs> some quick just slap tones uh, we'll go all the way up full blast both pickups parallel normal <laughs> about the, the cool thing about the main reason why I bought these from Stonewall these are uh, well of course I wanted to see what a like a, a P uh, P90s voice for bass sounds like obviously 
but one of the the other main reason was the adjustable pole pieces. So I had a uh, a set of pickups on on another base. If you've seen some of the other videos, you might know what I'm talking about. They're white and they've got the hot rails on them. Great sound, great sound. But the output was even. the The output was uneven. The E and the G was hotter than the A and the D. So they were these two were higher above the the uh, the rails than the E and the G. So like on gigs, I was having to take a compressor out, a compressor pedal out to tame these two to get in line with this, which, you know, I love compressors, don't get me wrong, I think they're great, bass player's best friend, but man, I had to squish these down, you know, it was just, ah, uh, you know, so anyway, for that bass, I got some DiMarzio's, and they have adjustable pole pieces in them as, as well, and that fixed that problem, so now it's even output, it sounds great, but this one, yeah, that's the other main reason why I got these, so I can get them all at the same, you know, same height, roughly. S slight graduation, you know. This is like about an eighth between, well, about a hundred thou and ninety thou, and this is uh, about eighty thou, eighty thou, sixty thou. It's, you know, tapered. Mm -hmm.